Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to an Access Show. Today, taking a look at Dual Universe, a MMO that promises to have 30,000 players or more maybe even more than that, in just one single planet. Now, I've shown this off a bunch of times over the last two years. Originally, it got kick-started, and they were looking for lots of backers. It's reached millions in terms of dollars and equity and private funding. It's got a good following with people back in the game on Kickstarters, and it looks like they are now really motoring ahead. They've just finished a stage one of their alpha, and they've got another one coming up for the backers of this game. It is a voxel-based game so yes minecraft in space but on a large massive scale you can build your ships you can build really big ships as this trailer shows you can literally do what you want in this world according to the game developers if you want to be a space pirate you can if you want to be someone that just sells items and be trade merchants you can if you want to be just stuck on one planet and be the governor of a planet you maybe possibly can the possibilities are limitless that's what they're promising with this most epic of mmo games Made by the developers at Novaquark, as I said, this has reached a hell of a lot of money, around 10 million euros at current standing. So this is the second time I've covered this game just on its own. I did think I was going to be able to get a try of the Alpha last year or when they launched it earlier on, but I missed out on that opportunity. So I'm hoping I get a chance to try this and see what it shapes up to be. But you literally can build and customise and do all sorts of things. Now the big news is they've just set up that 30,000 testing phase. A new trader by them on their channel was just literally revealed they test this for the first time and it's actually worked. They've got it all running on a single shard. Now I'm not a computer expert or how it all works with servers. I know a little bit about how Atlas run and how that can promise 40,000 players. In effect, that game splits all the servers onto grids. And so there is a kind of a hitching moment when you travel from one server to the next. And I know EVE Online also have similar properties where you seem to see seems like you're traveling from a galaxy to the next galaxy, but there is a small time Tiny little delay but no load screens well this offers something different it is meant to be 30,000 players able to play on one single shard now they're all on one planet at the moment that wouldn't be the case maybe if the game ever went live or though it could be it's just a way to show and demonstrate they can have that much concentrated players on one single spot it blows my mind a little bit that you can have that many people playing together they literally could start doing stuff now who knows, maybe the minute one of them starts gathering something, it will crash the servers completely. It's probably got a lot of work to go, and this is very, very early, early alpha. No word on when they're going to be releasing into early access. The project has been going for nearly two years now, as far as I remember. I'm pretty sure I covered this back, way back in 2016, early 2017. So Dual Universe is shaping up to be something quite special. As I said, there has been a few attempts to do something maybe a bit similar with the voxels, maybe on a smaller scale, but Boundless was a game that recently came out on the PS4 and PC where it's been in early access for a while, which is definitely much more Minecraft influence, where you can share and customise and build things on planets, and this is where it's going with Dual Universe. Look at the shapes and the ships that you can make, it really is really customisable. So exciting stuff. We don't know what's going to be happening, but this is just some of the creations that we've seen. These trailers come out in the last few months, basically highlighting all the creativity from the people on the alphas. And it does look absolutely amazing. Like the fact you could customise and build your ship exactly how you want it. And I'm presuming they do have different abilities. They will have functional abilities that affect it, whether or not you're quite heavy or you're quite large. That will change and mix it up a bit. I love this one. It looks like something that Batman would be flying around or driving around, I should say. So yes, there's going to be economy in the game. You can be a pirate. They're going to have safe zones. And once you step out of them safe zones, you will be open to attack just like it would be on any other sort of pirate in space adventure game. There's going to be politics involved. You will be able to set up your own governments and basically colonize and build on planets. There's so many planets available in their single shard universe. It's quite astounding really. At great cost though, you will be able to try this out. Well, I say great cost, but the initial package they've got on their Kickstarter or on their website page 
is a contributor pack, which is 60 euros. So that's about $60. You'll get access to the Alpha 2. You'll also get a bunch of other bits and bobs. Apparently pets are gonna be in the game as well, as well as some different specific outfits and cosmetic items. You'll also be given a beta key too. After that, it goes up in different tiers. You've got the sponsor pack, which basically gives you two beta keys. And then they've got the patron pack, which is like 180 euros, $108, which sounds like a lot. But the amount of money people drop on Fortnite skins nowadays and gold editions and special editions, I think for people looking for a big, huge, different MMO like this, they really would be willing to try it out. Who knows? Are you or would you ever spend that much money on a game that's not even guaranteed to come out? Let me know in the comment section down below. There are some really unique stuff they have gonna or gonna have their own in-game currency. They've got things like resurrection nodes, which basically allow you to choose your respawn, and lots of the packages come with more of these resurrection nodes depending on what tier you buy so you may be quite limited to where you can jump from back and forth i guess that's the whole point it's meant to be a real universe so you would have to travel but i presume space age and teleporting does factor into it as well if you was hoping to buy this game and just run around and see what can happen well be warned it is going to be subscription based you're going to have to pay a subscription every month for this does look like that's the way of a lot of MMOs really that do that but I've seen quite a few nowadays going free to play and then offering the option of buying a subscription which usually gives you currency and add-ons and bonuses and stuff like that so would you pay monthly to be part of this would you be something you'd be interested in it's very interesting to see how lots of games mainstream AA titles and battle royales are more and more going free to play or at least offering DLC free whereas some of the old school games and the old school genres like MMOs are really still holding on to that subscription based effort I will leave a link to their website, you can go and check it all out for yourself if you do want to take part of this, this is something that you may want to consider. As you can see we're getting a chance to see more of the first person view directly and how it all builds, functioning. It seems pretty intuitive, obviously they're doing this without the UI showing, but I have seen some trailers with the UI showing and it's pretty unobtrusive. Although a lot of this is going to change, I'm sure a lot of this is just placeholders and maybe not necessarily representative of the final game. And we have to take these trailers with a pinch of salt. I really don't think it's going to be like that as soon as you pop out. I'm pretty sure that's down to a lot of trickery. But nevertheless, the, the promise is there that you can do these things. It just may not be as smooth as we're seeing right now. Let me know if this interests you. What do you think about these huge, massive games? Are they too big? Do we need these type of games that offer such huge universes? Or are we quite happy with just the normal sort of games you're maybe used to playing, which only offer 100 players on a server? I am Jade. If you like this video, if you want to know more about Dual Universe, make sure you let me know in the comment section, and I'll keep you guys up to date on how well this game is coming along. Until then, laters!